Hey y'all, today my day is not starting out good. And the reason why I'm making this video is because I wanted to make you aware of some issues when you are renting a car here in Medida, what to look out for, and just sometimes how to get try to get over on you. This is ridiculous. I am um, not in a good mood already this morning, and it is 10 o'clock. In the morning and I wasn't in a good mood when I went to bed last night actually I was extremely heated now the very first place that I rented a car from was wonderful he they brought the car it was a newer car maybe 2023 or 2022 I think but I think it was a 2023 it was a small car but it was in good condition it was clean on the inside the real disadvantage to that car was the fact that I had to physically roll the windows down. It wasn't an automatic, uh, you know, button. So this guy did not have any cars available. I did contact another company that was recommended to me, and they also did not have any vehicles. So I, I found this place. Somebody sent it to me on Facebook Marketplace. That's not to say everything on Facebook Marketplace is garbage, right? So I messaged them and they responded and they seemed to be very professional. They sent me a pre-contract, like um, basically the, a copy of the contract that I would sign so I could totally read that over and everything that that was involved in. Now, their prices were exactly the same as the very first car that I rented but the difference was in the, the, the deductible and what the insurance covered. So for a little bit higher price, you got better insurance coverages. Well, so I arranged for the car to be dropped off Friday at 10 a.m. Of course, they didn't show up till after 11 o'clock. When I got the car, I looked at it and my main concern is not the aesthetics of the outside of the car, right? I just wanna be rolling. So if it's got scratches, dents, paint um, wearing away, uh, whatever the case, that's not an issue for me because as long as thing, my, my main concern is safety and reliability of the vehicle. So I did, you know, photos and videos. We went through this whole car with this guy and everything, you know, was noted. I looked on the inside noted whatever I need to note on the inside. So I didn't realize, of course you don't, because when you rent a car, there's just certain things you don't check. You look for body damage so you don't get blamed for anything. And, you know, as long as it's got the mirrors it's supposed to have and, you know, the inside is not all ripped up and stinky or covered in dog hair or whatever, you go about your business, right? Now, the difference in the U.S., is if you were to rent from one of the big name companies and you drive off the lot and there's an issue, you know, when you're not too far away from the location where you picked it up, you can just go right back and say, hey, there's a problem with this car, I don't want it, okay? Whereas if they're dropping this car off at your home here, that's kind of hard, okay? So this location, I asked him where's their office located and he said at the airport. So that means people coming off of planes that are going to rent cars are going to probably this office to rent a vehicle. So after driving the car for maybe, I don't know, two hours, I notice the check engine light is on and that concerns me because I don't know what that means. Then the big thing that I noticed is the brakes are grinding. And I'm, I'm talking about struggle grind. I'm talking about when you in your 20s, you're living paycheck to paycheck, because I've been there, okay? Um, and you can't afford to get your brakes done and they grinding and you just want to try to get to work. I'm like, that's not safe because I don't know if these brakes are going to just go out. So I also noticed a crack in the windshield, no big deal. And then, when I dropped off my passenger last night, I said, you know what? Because the one blinker on the right side, you know how blinkers go really, really, really fast, that either means they're burnt out or they're about to burn out. 
So they, I said, check to see the brake lights, what they look like. Lo and behold, I have no brake lights on the left side and only a piece of brake light, you know, it's multiple bulbs, a piece of brake light on the right side. And then the one that goes into the back window, that's completely like obliterated. So I messaged the company last night and I'm like, like look, hey, this is not cool, right? Not a crap that they told me, because I, I explained everything, but I did try to be professional. I didn't let that other Malika come out, because she in there, okay? She, she hasn't come out yet, but we're going to see how this progresses. So, very nicely, I said, hey, the car you gave me is not safe. Um, this is wrong, that's wrong. I feel like you just gave me a piece of garbage to get money, you didn't really care, you didn't even look at the car, et cetera, et cetera. So they messaged me back immediately and they said that we're very sorry. Um, we did not know what was the issue with the car. And then they said, a client had just dropped off this car right before we gave it to you and they didn't mention that there were any issues. Okay, so that means in my mind, you did not examine this car. They didn't do anything. They just rolled the car on out. But I told them, I said, I think that's a lie. Okay, and I want you to know that I feel you're a liar because this damage and these things is obvious. You got a guy driving a car from the airport to my home in Concao. You mean to tell me he didn't hear those brakes grinding? You mean to tell me he didn't see that check engine light? I said, is he blind? Right? So then they responded, we're going to fix this. We're going to bring you a car and swap it out tomorrow. Well, as I said, it is 1018. When you coming? Because are you going to waste my day? And at this point, I'm getting madder and madder because you should have been here at eight o'clock. You should have been here at nine o'clock. You should have been contacting me. They, they haven't contacted me yet. You should have been contacting me and saying, hey, we're gonna be here at this time to fix this issue. But no, I haven't heard from them yet. And I'm gonna be messaging them in a minute, like when you come in, you know? Part of me wants to say, come get this piece of crap and refund me every single dime of the money that I have given you. Regardless of whether I had a vehicle or not, you were wrong, give me every dime back. We're gonna see how this gonna play out. It's gonna be at the end of the video cause I'm gonna wait to post this video until this whole situation is remedied so we can see if I didn't have to flip out or it gets resolved to my satisfaction. When you're renting here in Medida, be very careful of the crap that they try to give you or some of the crap that they try to pull off, especially if you're renting from a place that they're bringing you a vehicle because you don't even know what they're gonna bring you. It's not like uh, you, you're looking at cars that are on the lot and a lot of these smaller companies, they don't have a lot of cars and they're definitely not brand new. This look like just some, some one of their cars, like let's rent one of our cars out and get some money. I, I just, I'm really appalled, but it's kind of, I hate to say it, it's kind of not a surprise, right? Um, so let's go and check this car out. Okay, so this is the car. As you can see, it's a bunch of scratches everywhere. The, you can see something's missing from right there. The hood is popped up. Um, I don't even know if the windshield wipers work because I haven't had to use them, but the front bumper is falling off like somebody tore that. Um, you can look, where is it? Let's see. Back bumper coming off. Like I said, this is just aesthetics. I don't, I don't really care about that as long as the bumper don't fall off, but look in the back. So that's supposed to be the brake light right there, and that's I don't know, that's where it goes, but it's way over there somewhere and not hooked up, so I don't know what that is. Um, here's the, I don't know if you can see the crack 
in the windshield. Inside, I mean, it's a stinky little dirty car. You can tell, I mean, it's it's real worn and old, but look, where, where the button at, y'all? Where the button? The lady that was riding with me yesterday tried to roll the window down, and she was like, uh, there's no button over here. Show you that. There they go, the check engine light. They brought it with almost no gas in it. Uh, in here, it, look. It was just, and it's still nasty and disgusting. Okay? And I, I clean that. I just can't get it all out because I am not about to do a full detail. Look at, look at that. Of this nasty car. I'm just not. So, let me tell you about our interactions this morning. Okay, so I don't know. I did not know that I was not dealing with, like, the owner or somebody that makes decisions. This guy eventually told me, well, I'm just a salesperson, but. After I told him the problems with the car last night, he responded that the company is unaware of the faults of the car. They said that it was just returned by a client and they, the client didn't mention any of the flaws, but they're gonna exchange it with another vehicle. My insurance covers it. Excuse me? Your company needs to cover it. Why should my insurance cover it? And if it didn't cover it, what are you going to do? Okay, I don't know where I was at. Um, the, I guess the company contacted me this time. Now, I told him, so I paid for today, and I'm wasting today sitting here waiting on you to bring me another car because he said they don't have any right now. They're waiting for somebody to return one. Mm -hmm. Right, they're going to give me somebody's car. Be like, you, we getting ready to give your car to somebody to rent. You're just going to have to take the bus, right? Um, so they said they'll notify me when they get one. So then he was like, uh, you need to talk to the company uh, administrator. No, I've been dealing with you this whole time. I dealt with you for the rental. I dealt with you all through this whole thing. So you deal with the company. You talk to the company and you tell the company what's wrong and relate to me a resolution because I'm not going through having to talk to a whole nother person and go through this whole situation, right? And I told him, it ain't my problem. It's your problem. So... Then he gonna tell me I'm insulting him. I'm not insulting you. I, I said the S-H-I-T word, right? I said it was bull crap. So I, and he told me that, that was a lack of respect. I'm not insulting you. So I had to let him know, I don't insult you. I'm not insulting you. I'm angry. I'm very angry because this is not how a company's supposed to operate, right? So he says, he quote, I already spoke to the company and they told me that the vehicle is not and was not failing. Who gives somebody a rental vehicle with grinding in the rotors? Like, so they said they don't return no money because at first I was like, you know what? You can come get this car and you can come give me all my money back that I paid. So he was like, no, we don't do that. We don't, but they are willing to give you another vehicle and give you an extra day for the time that, you know, it takes us to find you a car. So he said, as I mentioned about the vehicle, the same day it was take, they returned it and did not have any of those problems you are mentioning. The customer did not complain. That don't mean they weren't there. He said, you need to contact the administrator of the company, okay? I'm like, okay. You just gave me some garbage and hopefully thought that I was going to be probably like somebody else, maybe, like the people who had it before, and not say anything and just drive the car. And just be. The owner said, or the administrator, was like, we're going to change the vehicle as soon as one arrives. Um, he asked did it start. I told him, yeah. He was like, but the taillights and the brakes don't work. He said, I'm going to report it immediately and schedule an exchange. As soon as it arrives, we'll come and take it. I mean, y'all, 
this is a nightmare. But me being impatient, I'm like, mm, I'm ready for a car. I want a car. I got things to do that I want to do, et cetera, et cetera. So I went with a company that nobody that I personally know recommended this company. It just was out the blue, pick a company. So the long story short, what I'm trying to tell you is find service providers. It doesn't necessarily even mean uh, car rental. Find service providers that other people have used and will recommend to you because they can say that they were given good service. They were given, you know, the product that they were given was worth the money that they paid. Um, they can tell you if there were any problems, whether they were, were resolved um, to their satisfaction, the whole process. Just, you know, do your homework. Don't be like me and just go renting a vehicle from some unknown company that you don't know their reputation, you don't know their history. And the bad part about this, he said they're located at the airport. So that means people coming off them planes are going to different counters. Maybe the other counters is like, sorry, we don't have no cars, we don't have no cars. And then they go to this place, they be like, yeah, we got a car. Mm -hmm. And this is what they get. This is what they give you. Not cool, not cool at all. And to me, the way I think, the way I feel, you know, I, I pray about it, that I need more forgiveness. Uh, or the potential to forgive, but I'm not easy with that. It's still one of my struggles. I hold grudges. And to me, bringing me another vehicle, giving me an extra day, um, whatever you do, does not make up for the fact that you did this to me in the first place, in my opinion. You know, I'm, I'm still upset about that because I feel taken advantage of. Um, I feel that you should know that. You can lie about it all day long because to me that's a lie. There, there's no way that you can tell me that you didn't know that these things were wrong with the vehicle. The only thing I'll give you a little reprieve on is that check engine light because I know it can just pop on. But that other stuff, you, you either knew and you didn't care and you thought you can get that off or you just didn't know because you didn't check the vehicle. Which is still concerning because how are you just going to give a car to somebody and you don't even check it out first? You don't even bother to clean it. Okay, so yeah, I, I'm, I'm not, no. Nah. So at the end of this video, I'm gonna let you know how all of this plays out, what they bring in me, I'm gonna show it to you, et cetera, et cetera. But also, well, down in the description box, I'm gonna give you the name of the car rental place that I've used before that I would recommend that I was gonna go back to. One other car rental place that I tried to get a car from as well, but they didn't have any and they've been used by multiple people and they have really good reviews and good service and i'm also going to put the name of this company so you know not to go there because since that check engine light is on i'm wondering is there any oil in the car is there any uh antifreeze or whatever goes in the radiator is there any of that is there any windshield washer fluid is there any brake fluid Oil. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like there was much on it to begin with. What is that that's connected to nothing and this connected Damn. to nothing? Like some missing. From here to here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it way. And look this how is black low. And dirty it's all the way down. It's on the down here. It's not right, even. It's below the notch. Below it, way below. Oh. So yeah. it's what less than a quart. Well, you know what? I don't even know because that's dry. Let me put that in there again. I just assumed that black spot was. <gasps> yeah, it's just right there at the bottom. Yeah, that's not even... Below the knot, below the L. 
Okay, today is Tuesday, and I started the video on Sunday. I contact the company Saturday night, so I'm just now getting a car Tuesday morning. All of their cars are garbage. They are junk. They are old. Look, I, I've never, look, 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 I have never had this like this. Um, this car has got almost 100,000 miles on it. The check engine light is on in this car. Um, stuff is just falling apart. There's hardly, I hope I can make it to the gas station. Now he says he had three notches of gas, but he came from the airport. So you mean tell me it burned gas that fast? Um, yeah, their cars are garbage. And this is what they want to take your money for. And I, um, I would tell you don't use this company. It's not a good company. Okay, to conclude this video, when they brought the car, one, it has no gas. I hope I can get to the gas station. Two, I wanted to check the oil. It's disgustingly black. The check engine light is on. And the guy told me, the, the company guy, that the check engine light comes on when you change the oil. It has to be reset. That's a lie. I'm not dumb. I'm not falling for that. I already know there's a oil reset light, not the check engine light. Come on, boo-boo. I, I, I guess you think because I'm a woman that I'm not supposed to know these things, but um, that's not the case. I guess they think we're stupid. Um, I, I don't know, but at the end of the day, I do know this. Social media can cause your company to blow up and you can be very successful and social media can ruin your company. And I'm definitely going to put in the description box the company to avoid at the airport if you are going to rent a vehicle. Unless you're okay with that, more power to you, but I'm not. So yeah, buyer beware or renter beware to know that yeah, there's scam companies out here now, you know, why do you have such raggedy cars, okay? Why are you giving people raggedy garbage? But next time I learn my lesson, stop being impatient. I'm going to go with the guy that I used before or the lady that everybody else has recommended that has rented cars that I know. And she just didn't have anything. So I'm going to go with her, one of the two. And then hopefully we won't have these issues. So until we meet again, guys... Beware, be safe, keep moving.